Hello. This is Lake Simbinyaima, a mythical lake on Lake Victoria. It is uh, believed that it was once a village. The whole vast uh, lake was actually the village of Simbi, a thriving village, a partying village. But one day, when they were partying, they got a guest, an elderly woman, a hag. And they were not pleased with the sight of that hug. They said, why has she come to spoil our party? Let her go back. They didn't know that this hug was none other than Nyan Nam. And she had come with a gift of rain in her bag. She had actually brought out that gift and she was showing, showing it around. But the people didn't like it. She was turned away and then she went back into the lake this way. She went back quite sad because she had come with a gift of rain. A solution to all the drought problems in this dry land, this dry savanna land. She put it back into her bag and went away. But she was also very angry. She had been turned down, she had been snubbed, she had been insulted. So she sent torrential rain to this village. It was with thunder and lightning and earthquake. Do, 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 do. <laughs> then, <laughs> then these people started to realize their mistake. But they didn't leave to repent. They were all drowned. Plus their livestock. Plus all their belongings. All these people, they died. Probably one or two people might have escaped to begin life around. Because we see villages around. Or maybe these were just people who came later and found this vast village empty. But then... A lake formed in this village. Simbi Nyaima actually means Simbi, the village and the people that sank. These people sank into this lake. A lake so deep, nobody has ever reached its bottom and come back to tell the tale. Indeed, even scientists have been baffled. They cannot fathom the depth of this lake. Maybe this lake connects itself with other lakes or with other channels deep inside the womb of the earth. We don't know. <laughs> but anyway, the people died, but uh, the fowls and uh, the livestock turned into something else. The fowls turned into birds. You can see the sunbird there. You can see the flamingo there. You can see the a cattle egret there. You can see the ducks. You can see the Egyptian ducks and the normal ducks. All of them still enjoy life here. Although in another form, the livestock, the goats and the sheep and the cattle, they turned into wild animals. There were so many Sitatungas around, but I don't see any nowadays. Well, the people must have killed them and uh, enjoyed themselves. Well, talk of parties around Lake uh, Simbinyaima. People have always been partying around here. We don't see any Sitatungas here. We don't see any of these antelopes around. We don't see uh, the buffaloes. Uh, they are not there anymore. But we have new kinds of birds. I cannot name them. Uh, maybe you need a botanist to name one such as that. Oh, that is a kingfisher. Here is a kingfisher. This is a kingfisher. I don't know what it is doing here because there is no fish. <laughs> Even the fish drowned and went into the lake. <laughs> oh, yes. Another one. Oh, there is another kingfisher there. <laughs> but of late, I'm surprised. Uh, people have come around and found some use for this water. 
some magicians come here, they scoop the water and take it away. They say it is medicine. The religious people like those ones you see across, they come and pray on the beaches of this lake, believing that this is where God is. Are you feeling the presence of God here? Well, I'm feeling the presence of God. Oh yes, God is around, all around here. Okay, but those people also have found another use for this lake. They say that there are a lot of demons and these demons have attached themselves to human beings and they can treat those human beings, those possessed human beings. The demon possessed human beings can be treated here at this lake. Well, how do they do it? I think they just push you a bit into the lake where it is not deep <laughs> and then they cast the demon into the water and the demon goes deep because this lake is bottomless. <laughs> it is an abyss. <laughs> so, once the demons are cast, they don't come back. You know, in other water masses, you cast a demon there, then the demon just starts swimming, 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 and then <laughs> it starts floating onto the water, and then it flies again and possesses another human being. But here, <laughs> you cast a demon, it goes deep inside, into the abyss, into the abyss. I think <laughs> there is hell here. Heads, heads, heads. Oh.